beautiful and blessed ones. It is Marsha Gauntlet Kirby and welcome back to Brown Face TV. I'm trying to figure out where should I be looking here? Where should I be looking? Anyway, this is my Sephora uh, sales event haul. Uh, you guys know the uh, sale happens twice a year. There's one in the spring, an event in the spring, and then there's one in the fall slash winter. So it is going on still right now. I am uploading this. Well, I'm recording this on Saturday, uploading it tomorrow. So you'll still have one day left. It ends on the 6th to uh, to shop if you so choose. Uh, maybe some people, sometimes I just like watching hauls just to see what other people get and compare to what I get. Or I just live, or you know, you might want to live vicariously through other people and just look at what other people got. But anyway, this is what I got. I am a Rouge, so I get 20% off. I was able to shop early. Uh, again, I don't know how this happened last year because you have to spend a certain amount and I don't really remember. I looked through my statements, I don't remember spending that much, but whatever, we're just gonna leave it as it is. And I don't remember spending that much this year either and I got a notification that I was like $70 away from becoming Rouge again, which that is um, very attainable because the year's not even over. <laughs> the year's not over and um, yeah, I can definitely make that. But I do enjoy the 20% and I do enjoy being able to shop uh, uh, early. Anyway, let's get into the haul. All right, these are some products that uh, if you've been here for a while, you are an OG, then you already know. Uh, Biosance, uh, the, the Spalane Omega Repair Cream. This is what gets me through the winter time, this moisturizer, okay? I was gonna order it from the site, but they didn't, um, okay, that's what happened. That, that That's what had happened. Uh, my credit card points. So I was able to get like, I, I have the VIB savings, the 20% off, plus I was able to get like two $25 gift cards from my credit card because you know, you accumulate points. So that's why I was gonna go to the site, but I was like, you know what, might as well get it and then put the, the $50 towards everything that I got here. So this is a re-up purchase. You guys know, Ordinary re-up my, the winter time. Actually, I, I was using this throughout the summer as well. Uh, organic by the ordinary, the hundred percent organic cold press rose rose hip seed oil. I also like the squalene oil from this brand or squalene oil in general. But uh, this one really gets me through the winter. The squalene is very very light, so if you do like applying oils, I would suggest squalene as opposed to the rose uh, hip seed oil. And this I've been been I've been working it down here on my neck, and it just gives me a good glow. Even putting this um, a couple of drops on my feet after I bathe, lotion, uh, or moisturize, and then put this on on top of it. Ugh. Okay, I repurchased this LYS foundation. I started with DG6, which is what this is. And then, I don't know why, I felt it was, I felt it was like a little light. It was there, because in the middle of my face is lighter than the perimeter. So this matched everything here, but then when I would put it all over, you can see the, um, the line of demarcation, I didn't really like, just slightly, I didn't really like that. But now I know how to bronze and all that stuff. So I had bought the, there was another one, it was a neutral. But then, I don't know, neutral, it looks good at first on me. Neutral foundations, it looks good on at first on me and then throughout the, the throughout wear time, it starts to look, because I have olive, golden olive undertones, it starts to look gray green. It just, I don't know, it looks weird. So I went back to the golden. I really do like this foundation. It's very affordable. It's a clean, it's clean and it's black owned. And this is more of a wintertime foundation. I would not, and I'm not even that oily. I would not, yeah, this is not for the summertime. So this is why I re-up uh, re now to take me through the winter. And this lasts about nine, It's I think the shelf life, yep, nine months. All right, re-upped, I had it for two years and this one only lasts a year. The, the other one I have of these, this is the Super Coop Daily Dose Hydra Ceramide Boost plus SPF, SPF of 40. I really love this to get that. Of course it has SPF and it has ceramides, but then it just gives that extra boost, especially in the winter time. Oh my gosh. Like you're moisturizing and it just gives that extra, extra moisture, extra glow. Just have you looking just so youthful. There are many benefits to ceramide. I don't really know what they are right now. Um, I can tell you about retinol and other things, vitamin C, but I don't remember. And they've also introduced a bioretinol uh, in this, uh, how do you say? In this line, in this, there's three of these. In this, like, see, it comes in like a dropper form. So they have a bioretinol, they have a ceramide boost, and then there's another one. This one, um, I'm gonna say, I was gonna say it's my favorite, but I haven't used the other ones. 
uh, the other one, I think it's a vitamin C, dose of vitamin C with the SPF, but this was my favorite. Well, this is the only one I use and I like this one, so I'm gonna stick with this. Right, right now, I already use, um, and I don't know, it's, you can use, I don't know, I've just, Something about the retinol, um, using it in the day with the SPF. I don't know, I'm sure it's fine because they wouldn't have made it if it wasn't, but I'll just stick to this. So the last sale, I bought the Summer Fridays Lip Balm. This is in the color Vanilla Beige and I love this. And there's still a good amount left and I, I use this a lot. So I wanted to try a different, I guess, color. Uh, this one is Brown Sugar. I like it, but I, I don't know, something about the, it adding a little bit of color and it's dark to my lips, even though I know that we're in the fall and the um, fall and winter. I don't know, I just like this. It just gives like a, it's it's sheer, but not really, there's a hint of color. So I think I'm gonna swap this out for this, even though I have some left. All right, another re-up because this is one of my favorite blushes. This is by Say Beauty. Uh, it's a dew blush. I love, okay, love, uh, cream blushes, cream and liquid blushes. Oh my goodness. And this is just, this, I don't know. I think it's like a perfect brown girl shade. Oh my goodness me. It's uh, it's like a terracotta shade. And this is in the color Spicy. I've been using this for like the past two years. I think this is like my third, I want to say my third bottle. I want to try other colors, but again, we're in fall. But even though I don't subscribe to that because today I had to go to an event and I have on like a pinkish blush. You really can't see, it's very light. But anyway, we're going to, uh, we're gonna rock out with this terracotta. And this is good for all seasons actually. I just, I don't know, it's, it's very, um, this is not even a review. The color is very, it's natural. It gives like a natural pop. This is not, I didn't buy this, this is, I still have this. But if you are going to shop the, the, the sale, I would highly suggest picking up the Ami Cole Skin Tint, which is what I have on today with a little bit of concealer. I just love this stuff. It's, I don't know. It's so natural, but it gives you an oomph. It just adds something to the skin, a glow. It makes you look, uh, again, youthful. So, and then this, it's a brown, a uh, brown. It's a uh, black owned brand. Uh, yes, it's a black owned brand. And it's funny, I was, I had a hard, not a hard time finding my color. I thought I was one color, but because the shades are uh, brown girl friendly, the shade that I originally picked up was too dark for me, which is, I mean, where do you even hear that? I mean, yeah, it's usually it's too light. So I had to go two shades down. So I picked this one up. I'm in the number, I'm in D2, but I would highly suggest picking this up. I'm gonna get a little lighter in the winter time. So I may pick up another one, like the one right below this to kind of mix it but I don't have concealer, so I may not, but I highly suggest picking this up. And it's a moisturizer, skin tint moisturizer, but um, I use it all year round. I just, in the summertime, I just put on a matte, um, matte base or matte SPF. All right, I saw this on somebody else's channel and then didn't think anything of it. And when I went to the Sephora collection, cause you know, Sephora collection is 30% off during the sale. I saw these and, oh, and it's what I have on my lip today. They, I guess, before it introduced or maybe revamped their lipstick, they added like these matte lipsticks. Oh my, they are matte, I'm matte, all right? So I picked up like three colors. Uh, there's one I'm gonna return, I don't know which one, I forgot which one it is, but this is number 27 right now. It's It says purple, but it look, it's running very deep red, but that's what I have on now. But these are very, very matte. So if you pick these up, and they came out to be like $10, I think they were 15, $10. So yeah, if you wanna try these, but please moisturize your lips first because I'm telling you, these are matte. So for a collection, they revamped again these shadow sticks. I really did like these. Uh, I haven't picked them up in a while, but I like the original formula. They were just the pencils that you have to sharpen. Now they come in the tubes where you, um, uh, they've upgraded. So you can twist and no sharpening, anything like that. And I really wanted purple. I'm just into, I don't know. I love purples on my eyelids, purples, blues, Purples, blues, and uh, green, like teal greens on my eyelids. Uh, that's really, and maybe like a natural color. That's all I really wear now if I'm gonna wear any eyeshadow at all. So I picked up a purple stick. This is an eggplant, it's a dark purple. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one. This was an impulse buy, but this one, yes. All right, speaking of eyes, I, again, another impulse buy, and we'll see how it goes. I just didn't realize I wanted a palette that had blue, 
teal and uh, purple in it. Just one palette. I had one from, uh, not Tarte, I think it was Urban Decay. I can't, I think it's discontinued. I can't find it. It was the Born to Run palette, I believe. I can't find it. So I tried to pick this one up. And although it has a lot of colors that, again, I'm not really into eyeshadows like that anymore. I would, I will put on a pop of color once in a while, but uh, I don't know. I realize that these are very glittery and yeah, we're just not at the glittery age. I just, mm, yeah, no. So I don't know. I'm gonna, I haven't tested it yet. I'm gonna put some, swatch them and then see how this goes. Like this blue shade, shade is, it has like, it's shimmery, um, but there's not a lot of glitter. This is very pretty. So I really love colors like this and this, but this looks, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It's, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But I picked this up. I'm sorry, this is Take Flight by Violet Voss. And I've never purchased anything from Violet Voss, but it was, um, Sale and it had everything I needed, so I picked it up. The, the Sephora brushes are really, really good. Okay, I think I um, on my on my I'm on my way to picking up everything in the, every brush in that collection. Uh, anyway, this is number 56. It's a foundation brush. I have 55. Uh, it's funny because I don't really use the 55 that much. Every other brush I do use, this one is more compact. So we'll see how this one goes. And I did order a 60, but it's not here yet. They it, they weren't in store. That one was sold out. That was on the recommendation of, I believe, the Clean Beauty Code and uh, waiting on that one. So I'm gonna test that one, compare 60 to 56 to see which one I need and then return the other one because uh, I have other foundation brushes in my collection from Sephora and from other brands. I should have talked about this when I was talking about LYS. So again, I watched the Clean Beauty Code. She does reviews on clean beauty brands. This is again, LYS Black Owned and they introduced this, I think, earlier this year. And she raves about this and it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $20, maybe less. And then uh, with the 20% off and then the gift cards that I had. So I wanna try this. Uh, it is LYS Natural Finish Skin Loyalty. It is a makeup, um, I should know this. Oh, it says Mattify, Blur Mattify Set. It's a setting spray. I don't know about, I went out, I did have to powder before I started to, before I sat down. So I don't know about the Mattify. I'm not sure about that. But we're gonna test this and see how this goes. Some new uh, things to my collection. Well, new, again, Clean Beauty Co. She raves about these Kofi. Kofi is a clean brand. I don't believe this is black owned. So I wanted, because I'm faithful to the NARS uh, concealer, which I just repurchased. My color is Amand and Ormande, and it just looks like, it's like the perfect match of my skin tone. So under my eyes, the perfect fit. But what I've had issues with, or not issues, trouble with matching, I want something that's a little bit lighter for brightening. So I'm trying these. I haven't had much luck with the NARS. I don't know if, I'm not sure if it's me or maybe the people who are helping me. I don't know, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, so I picked up these two on the recommendation, like I said, of Clean Beauty Code. I picked up two colors. One is in Cherry Pick. Which was, which would, it's it's not my color, it's like right under my color. I, I tested this one yesterday and I wanted to test this one today, Glossy Guava. I don't know, I, Cam, and look, you can, I, I mean, I guess that's the point. You can see it. it's like a little bit lighter here. I just wanted that little extra pop. So I'm not sure, I'm still trying to figure out which one I'm going to, I'm going to keep. Uh, so we'll see. But I picked up two concealers and they're not drying, they're very, more, they're not even, I don't know what they are, they're, Maybe just natural and it does blur under the eyes. It's just, it's really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see it. From Kofi, I did pick up again. I tested this yesterday. I picked up, because uh, I've heard a lot about this. It's, this is a Kajal, is that how you say it? Eyeliner crayon. I don't know, if something was running. I'm not sure if it was, I don't think it was because the, I, the mascara I used yesterday is like my OG mascara and that usually stays on. So it had to be this, I'll try it again. Uh, but for right now, this is going back, but I did pick it up. It was part of my haul. And this is in uh, Nazar No More. It's the it's black. Picked up this blush. Didn't think I was gonna, it, I threw it in my cart. Didn't think I was gonna like it. And this is very, very pretty. Cause I was like, ah, pink. I'm not a pink blush girl. I wear everything else, but like this light, dark pink, yes, but not like this light pink. Uh, but this is pretty. So, oh, and it's, um, it's liquid. So yeah, I don't know. Oh. Oh, this color is Pinky Promise. And again, Clean Beauty Code recommended it, so that's why, but she's way lighter than me. So I didn't think it was gonna work on me, but yeah, it does. 
this is old, but it's I have another one on its way to me. So I bought this, I think it was not last, I think it was like two years ago at this point. Is this 24 months? I think it has a 24 month lifespan. I can't see. I, I don't know, I couldn't figure this out, but then I saw some other hauls and again, people were raving about this. So I said, you know what? Let me try it again, all right? Now that I know how to, I know how to do a little bit more with my makeup and stuff. This, I'm sorry, I keep doing it, getting into the, the uh, descriptions and stuff without saying what the product is. This is Tower 28, another clean brand. Tower 28, uh, Sunny Days. This is a tinted sunscreen. It actually, I, I don't even know, wait, hold on. Where is my Amicole? So this is a tinted moisturizer. This is tinted, this is very light. This is like makeup, okay? Like, yeah, straight up makeup. I don't know what tinted sunscreen yet. Anyway, I did want to find something with sunscreen in it because I love sunscreen. I just wanted, I wanted something that I can put on my makeup and not have to worry about, even though I probably would put on sunscreen under it and then put this on. But again, those days when you just want to run out really quickly and you just want a little bit of coverage, throw this on. But I just, I don't know. I can't tell if I like this or if I didn't like it. I just didn't, I don't know where this sat um, in my mind of like, let's say uh, coverage products. So I ordered another one. If it doesn't work out, we can return it. All right guys, I have to turn on my light. I don't know, I was sunny when I sat down and then it started to get dark. So we're gonna work with this light for the rest of this video. OMG, how could I forget? These are only $5, so I could buy these anytime, but I decided to, I mean, it's not that much off. But I love these things. Uh, these are the Sephora cotton wipes. Again, I think they're $4.50, they're not, they're not even $5. So I love these. These are my favorites along with the Shiseido. And I totally forgot to pick those up. I think because I have half, um, half a package left. But I'll probably run there just to have a stash. Run there maybe later on today or tomorrow or even by, before the sales ends to pick up another one of the Shiseidos, but these are my favorite. These are larger than the, the Shiseidos and not as, the Shiseidos are very, very soft, like pillowy soft. So I usually use those on my eyes if I need to take off uh, uh, eye makeup or anything like that, or if my skin is feeling sensitive. But this one I'll use on the other days when I just want, cause it's, it's larger and you can cover more with this, but I really like, and there's a soft side to this and a more exfoliating side. I, for five, 450, Love these, okay? And everything will be linked below. Danessa Myricks, I love these multi-functional cream things that she has. I have one already in my stash that I use for um, that one color. It's a, it's very universal. It's you can use it for eye. These are universal, but the one that I have, it's very, lips. Lips, cheeks, and eyes, I use that for. I wanted to try, I went purple again into these purple. So I picked up this color Wild Orchid, but I tested it this week and I don't like it. It's the glitter. The glitter is not for me, okay? So I just, I don't know why she, I, I don't know why they just couldn't, you see how pretty this is? But it's, yeah, it, it is just too much glitter. I just, mm -mm, I couldn't do it. So this is going back. Oh, I picked up another LYS concealer because I really, this is the, the brightening concealer that I wear under my eyes. I've used this one before and I like this one, but this one, I feel it's more for dry skin. I wanted to try something else. I feel like this one, by the end of the day, I can get it out. By the end of the day, you can see some um, movement, movement around with this one, especially in this area, whenever I, even though I don't need to conceal here, but usually you put the concealer here, here, here. You can see, yeah, some movement, or, uh, it breaks up, that's what it is. It breaks up by the end of the day. Uh, when it goes on, it's pretty, but um, yeah, I don't know. So now that I have the Kofi and I've tested that, and this, I mean, I put on makeup yesterday. Uh, I left out of here pretty early. We didn't get back from, we went to Philly to drop the kids off. We didn't get back until like 12 midnight, and it was still going strong under my eyes, no movement or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna, I think, cause I placed the order for this before this one. This was uh, after the fact. So yeah, I think I'm gonna return this one. But it's, it's if you have dry skin, by all means, you can pick this up. And now that it's winter time, uh, it's cooler, you can definitely go with this. My color for lightning is for to brighten under the eyes, DG3. Normally I would use DG6 for, um, that matches my skin tone. Last but not least, I really wanted to try uh, I've tried things from Merit before, but I saw someone else talk about this and I don't remember who it was, but they were raving about this. So I 
use products with hyaluronic acid, which uh, it's um, good for moisture, especially around this time, and niacinamide, which is good for uh, lightening dark marks, keeping acne at bay, and um, just creating, um, how do you say, just like a very smooth surface. I have a niacinamide toner, and whenever I use that, it's just everything that goes on after that just goes on smooth and evenly. Anyway, this Merit product has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. It's just very luxurious. Look at this glass bottle, y'all. Oh my goodness. It's interesting because it's like it's almost like an oil in there. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but we're going to test it and see. But like I said, it it's called, it's by Merit, Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. Uh, so I'm gonna test this and see, just to maybe kill two birds with one stone. And then another product from Merit I wanted to try. This is actually a foundation. It's called The Minimalist. I feel like this was Merit's packaging. It's just so rich. Like, what, what? This is, wow. This is a, it's actually a foundation, Minimalist, but look at it. This is so interesting. So I was thinking of using it for these, for this, even though it's a foundation for this area. Uh, this looks like my color, but I think testing in store, it looks like just a tad bit lighter. So I could probably use this as um, uh, brightening for this area, like I said, for this area, and see how it compares to the Kulfi. And also, you guys know I struggle, what I've said that before, struggle with, I still have, um, it's not as much hair on my chin anymore from the PCOS, but the dark marks are still looming. So just for like day to day uh, to kind of cover up, look at this pimple. I don't know, I haven't had a pimple in like years. I'm not sure what happened there, but anyway. Uh, to maybe uh, conceal or use, conceal or just put some foundation over that area. I guess maybe more for spots, for, like uh, area treatment. Like if we want to hide some things, this is probably what this would be good for. But we're going to test this and see. And my color, the color I picked up was in, Amber. I'm gonna insert this somewhere in the video. I forgot to add this to my haul. I did pick up this all day body hydration, uh, I guess body butter from Sephora. I went in store to get this. It was 18 and then the 30% off, so it wasn't expensive. I'm still trying, I'm still, I mean, I mean, I started to test this already, uh, getting a feel for it. It's very thick. I'm just trying to test the hydration, especially now in this climate now that it's cold. I did see this recommended on someone else's ch uh, channel and then I said, oh, let me, you know, it was inexpensive, so let me pick it up. And then this is also, I picked this up right before the sale only because I had a coupon, a $5 off coupon, which would have come out to more than, more off than the 20%. This is only about, I think 20, I think it's $22. Anyway, this is by Ami Cole. It is their, uh, it's a blush. And this is, I think this one is called Desert Rose. Let me see if I can open it. All right, this is what it looks like. It is almost like the Save Lush that I spoke about. It is just very, uh, it blends into the skin. It is a cream blush, of course, but it just gives you, it's a blush, but it gives you that natural brown girl blush kind of look. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's very, very pretty. I actually bought one before and I lost it and I went to get a, another one. But like I said, this one is in the color, I think it's Dune actually, I'm, I'd like. This is this is a Desert Blush, that's the name of the blush, the blush uh, line, but this one is called Desert Dune. Anyway guys, I can't wait to hear what you picked up or if you've done a video, a Sephora haul video, link, uh, not link it down below, let me know and then I will go and watch it because I like to see what other people got and or what other people picked up and um yeah that's it have a blessed week and i will see you next time bye